Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks. Today with a set from a new company, the Wedding Cooper, the Wedding Bowser, from the company Wangao. Model number was 288004, 6 plus. Mm. And this has 3300 pieces around. It's between 110 and 130 US dollars with shipping worldwide. Depends on which shop you order this set. Okay, uh, let's go through. One small little rose. A flying wee guitar or something like that with really strings on it. Yeah, not metal strings, but I believe this is a f or should be a flying Wii or something like that. The famous guitar from the metal groups of the 80s and the early 90s. Instructions. We have 243 pages and 915 building steps. Overall, this is 11 bags, 11 big building steps. The last is the guitar and the rose. The rest is the Bowser. So, and before you type in comments, yes, you are right. This is to 85% the Lego Bowser. I didn't know that. I only seen a picture of this and I didn't watch the Lego Bowser too exactly because I can't afford it. And um, so I saw this and I ordered it and then I start to build and then I was curious this is so well designed. Is it really from Wangao or did they use the base of the Lego Bowser? And they used the, leg, the base of the Lego Bowser. So the torso is the same, the arms are the same, the head is different, the, uh, the, the head, the head is smallly different, the shoes are different, but here the Cooper shell and the tail, it's the same. So it's between 85 and 90 percent the Lego Bowser. Sorry for that, normally we don't show you Lego clones, but I, I didn't know it. And after I recognized that this is the Lego Bowser mostly, um, but I, I was ready for the video, I thought I show it you anyway. Because it's a new company, Wang Gao, and we always want to know how good are the new companies from quality wise. So let's go through. Instructions, no problem at all. This is a good instructions. And it's not too small, with nearly 300 pages for the 3,300 pieces, so that's absolutely okay. 10 pieces per side, so that's absolutely okay. Quality of the pieces, very, very, very good. The clutch power is good. The We have no scratches, no mad, not mad. Everything is really smooth. The clutch power is good to very good. So this is under the best three or four bricks I have ever had here on the table. So no problems, Wang Gao. I don't know which um, reproducer you use for your bricks, but they are really good. Really, really good. No problems with the clutch power. No problem with the color consistency. All the white is the same white, all the green is the same green. We have very good chromed pieces. Yes, it's not really chromed, it's sprayed, but they're really good. No scratches, really shiny, a little bit harsher to put together because of the, the spray around. So it's a little bit harder to push, uh, but it's normal with these chrome pieces. But they're very good, no scratches at all, really shiny. So, instructions and piece-wise, the, the, the quality of the pieces, this is a very, very, very good set. Really, absolutely good instruction and astonishing good pieces. No problems at all. The functions are the same as the Lego. So we can here move the head a little bit. And normally there is not a stud shooter. I don't know how these things are called, the other shooters. Normally he shoots fireballs, but from Van Gaal you have to assemble the box 
with the spring itself. It's in four or five pieces and I believe that's the reason that it doesn't function. Because the mechanism underneath is the same as the Lego mechanism, so it should be work. But it isn't triggered, so it doesn't fl fly around. That's one of the two downsides of the set. The other is that they stole a lot of the Lego version. Let's see. It works, but it doesn't shoot. Okay, the next thing is... Is it here? We can, we have the same function as the Lego version. We can move the head a little bit to the right and to the left with the mechanism here in, inside the upper body. Okay, so that's the same. I show it to you. What I really like is that they, uh, this, the head is a self-design, the Lego version has no head, but they orientated here on the shell design. That's really nice and they orientated here on this design with all the spikes and the chrome. So that's absolutely okay. It looks really, really good. This is the masterpiece of the Lego version. The Cooper shell, I think it's astonishing well made. The angles and everything, this is really... So I'm, I'm having um, mixed feelings about the, the stealing of, of, of the Lego Bowser. I'm a little bit disappointed that they steal uh, the well-made under construction of this and I'm happy they did it. <laughs> yes, that's strange in one sentence, I know. I'm a little bit disappointed because I would prefer a really self-designed, complete self-designed Bowser. The other thing is the Lego version is so good and so well designed, so better steal it good than do it bad yourself. <laughs> okay. So the, you can't position the feet in no other way here. That's the same as the Lego. It's so designed that when it sits down, it goes into one position and you can't really move it here. It's not made to be moved or, or positioned in another way. It's to be meant to stand in this way and then it's perfectly uh, balanced, no problem. Here we can rotate ah, this. We can, can rotate this here. It should normally rotate 180 degrees, but the Cooper shell here is in the way. But you see, we can really change here the position. We can get a little bit out and a little bit in, not too much here. We can't rotate the elbow, we can only make this or that. <laughs> and we can rotate 100 degrees, 100, no, 360 degrees our hands. So it's basically the same as with the Lego version. Okay, so yes, the eyes are printed. They look a little bit odd. So I try to show it to you and I hope that the camera doesn't change. Now the colors, if I move this here back, my, my camera, it's a, a Google Pixel 7 Pro. Uh, when I go too, too close to the camera and show you something and I go back, it changes sometimes the color of the things. I don't know. So I have to buy an 8 Pro or next year a 9 Pro. I don't know. Or I'll buy a real camera. That would be <laughs> perhaps the best way to present it to you. Okay, not much more to say about this here. The guitar is really well made. It looks really cool for a brick-built guitar. The size is okay. It looks for a little bit oversized. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit oversized, but it's okay. Um, to be honest, for the last building step, the 11th building step, the uh, step, the guitar here and the rose. Uh, it took me the, the longest time. These two things, the accessories, took me the longest time. The other building steps were between 30 and 45 minutes. The last building step was around an hour. So the whole assembly time is between eight to 10 hours around this year. If you're a really fast builder, you can get done this year in 
six to seven hours, a normal builder eight to nine, and a slow builder perhaps ten to eleven hours, something like that. Okay, uh, the measurements, it's not standing on a base plate like the Lego version, so we have 34, 33 and a half in height through the head. We have in width here, if I make the hands the most way they can spread, or the arms, we have 29 centimeters if he's standing so. So it's a little bit less. Ah! He's losing his arm. This poor guy. Can we assemble it fast enough in this take? Yes, okay. Um, and from the tail, I know I don't have to measure again, to the most forwarded arm here. So this is 33 centimeters from the last spike or the tail to the tip of his hand here. 33 centimeters. So the measurements are e nearly equal to the Lego Bowser except the height and the Lego Bowser stands on a bigger blade so you need more space than this here because you don't have this blade. The pieces from the blade were here in the guitar. Yeah, okay. So, like I said, if you like this set here and think, hey, this looks cool, I have to have the Wedding Bowser, the Wedding Cooper, then buy it. It's a really, really, really good set. But if you are absolutely Lego fanboy, and perhaps don't buy it because they stole a, a lot of the design. So it depends on you. For me, it's no problem. I think <laughs> I think Lego and especially Nintendo have enough of my money. They don't need money here for the Bowser. It wasn't. Ah, this one pin. Ah, they are not totally in the same position, so that's the reason. Yes. Now. Okay. I love this cute little fella. It's very heavy, very compact. There is no space inside. It's really totally compact and really heavy. So I love these buildable figures. But another word to the Lego. Nintendo situation, please, Lego, use, use your license better, please. Not the NES, then a year later, the, the bing, the, the, you know what I mean, uh, the quarter, and another year later, the Bowser. Three big Nintendo sets in two years or nearly three years, that's, that's not cool. And the play sets, oh, forget them. Why don't we have a Mario, a Luigi and a Yoshi as buildable figures? Why? We all, since we know that LEGO has the license, we are all waiting for a Mario or a Luigi, best is both, and I'm waiting for a Yoshi. Desperately waiting for a Yoshi, please, Lego. I know you don't watch my videos, you hate me perhaps, um, but please make a Yoshi. Perhaps for the girls a peach, no problem, or a toad, but make a Mario and a Yoshi. You have a, a really cool looking Bowser from Lego or this one, but we don't have a Mario, we don't have a Yoshi, we don't have a toad, we don't have a peach. Okay, last words from an old man. Thank you for watching and I catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.